backflip. I'm doing a backflip right now. And bro. <laughs> Shock the people. So let's shock the people. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lie. I look sexy as fuck, bro. Take your girl. Shawty was good. What? Take your bra. Take your girl right now, boy. Anyways, should I do the rest of the video with these shades on? Oh, shit. Bro, yesterday I was watching this video. I was like, damn. I'm gonna watch you on my channel tomorrow, but there's no way. I need you guys to see this nigga. Like, bro, this dude right here. You should watch this guy and be like, damn, what am I doing with my life? I need to work harder. I need to do something, bro. Because, damn, I watched this video. I was like, yo, my homeboy sent me the link to this video. And he was like, boy, we need to go harder. Look at this. Ah, I need you guys to see this video, bro. This fruit bought a dinosaur, dog. You know, like a real dinosaur, bro. Bro, this video is crazy, bro. I need you guys to see. Yo, dog, I can't believe, bro. This is the most motivational video I've seen in a while, dog. I'm not even gonna lie. Yo, oh, 2022. I don't even know where to start. The year of the side quests. Bro, this guy did all of this in one year, bro. 2022. One year. But if those were the side quests, what was the main quest? I want to be the biggest entertainer in the universe. Be the biggest entertainer in the world. Be the greatest entertainer in the world. Become the biggest entertainer on the planet. And on the night of June 6, 2021, I felt like I made that happen. This man <laughs> is just a regular dude. This man is boxing Floyd Mayweather, dog. Like, it... I don't want anyone to tell me anything is impossible ever again. I had waited 26 years of my life to perform on the biggest stage of them all, and it finally happened. So now what? Well, it turns out life is just a giant quest to find out who you are and what makes you happy. And what makes me happy? Hydration. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, not really, but building makes me happy. Creating makes me happy. After all, I am a YouTuber and I can't recap 2022 without mentioning prime hydration. We have created our own drink company. What the fuck? Oh, oh bro. my God. Bro. This brood. I don't think you understand, guys. This guy made his own drink. This is one year, bro. This nigga fought Floyd Mayweather. He made a drink so far. These are two things that he's done. Bro, we one minute into the video. I don't think you understand. <laughs> are you not inspired? Damn, bro, this nigga's going harder. Oh, that's great. Oh, yes. Oh, that shit good as a mother. Is this water? Wow. Oh, that's good. Yeah. The fastest growing hydration company in the world. A company birthed from violence. After beating each other up twice and selling out multiple venues in cities around the world, KSI and I developed a friendship that turned into a full-on industry <coughs> industry disruption. In just the first year, Prime has done 250 million in retail sales. It's actually f this brew made 200 and what? How much? First year, Prime has done 250 million in retail. $250 million in retail off a drink that he invented that year, in the same year, bro. I, bro, we need to go harder, guys. Please. Are you motivated? I hope you're motivated. Because my job right now is to motivate you through watching this video. Because, damn. Retail sales. That's actually f***ing insane. I cannot believe that. Bro, 100 million bottles sold in over 30,000 retail doors in some of the biggest retailers in the world. Walmart, Target, Kroger, Sam's Club, GNC, and Vitamin Shop, to name a few. We also launched another product, a powdered version of our drink, and our stick packs are actually number two in the USA. I'm coming straight out. International expansion, both Canada now and of course the United Kingdom. We want pride. We want pride. Ladies and gentlemen, we got pilots. They move different. 
Get out of here, dude. And then somehow we became the official sports hydration partner for Arsenal. We have what? time, baby. Are you, bro, are you seeing this, bro? Now they the official the official drink sponsor for Arsenal. Arsenal is the I think Arsenal is number one in the league right now, bro. Bro, eh? Hydrated to the max! And ever since Arsenal has been drinking prime, they are first place in the Premier League see, and the 12th. See? 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 One. Drink prime. Also, some breaking news prime will be getting its own Super Bowl commercial. Holy sh! The first ever YouTuber Super Bowl commercial for a product that KSI and I created. Actually, f***ing insane. And we're also going to be releasing another product, this Prime Energy, early. Harder. It's going harder. Yeah, bro, are you not motivated, bro? Like, honestly, like, this woke me up, bro. This, like, I was motivated before, man. But this right here, I just right, I was like, boy, you need to wake up. Next year, come through. Oh, okay. Speaking of energy, my passion took me around the world this year. Woo! Oh my god, fantastic. Dude, that is so cool. Oh my god, it worked. Look how ridiculous this is. From sending a Polaroid to space, collaring an elephant, breaking my hand, and being told I'll never be able to box again, spray painting a private jet. Bro, I, <laughs> bro, bro, <laughs> bro. This nigga took a picture and he sent it to space. Uh, they were. Yeah, they Look how ridiculous space. this is. From sending a Polaroid to space, cop. Bro, this nigga's picture is in space right now as we speak. It's up there now. Right now. Collaring an elephant, breaking my hand, and being told I'll never be able to box again, spray painting a private jet. Fly this dude sp spray painted a private jet. Bro. 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 Yo, bro, this bro's going harder. It's going harder. An elephant breaking my hand and being told I'll never be able to box again. Spray painting a private jet flying in zero gravity. 99 originals took over my life. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This is perfect. I became so obsessed with having this Polaroid. Something about the idea of capturing a moment in time and turning it into a physical was really exciting to me. From being robbed in South Africa by a monkey. He's got prime! The monkey has prime! Which, by the way, is my favorite video ever. To going on the largest yacht for charter in the world. I got. Bro, like. What? <laughs> got to experience so much life during the time I was shooting this project. Are you doing great, Joshua? Woo! I've also never received such good feedback on anything I've ever created. Mind you, we probably, we pro like, he probably did all of this that we've, that we've seen here in, like, maybe five months. Maybe we're five months into the journey right now. Bro, we're still only four minutes into the video, bro. This man has done all of that stuff. In my all life. <laughs> I got to do so many cool things and meet so many cool people. And when you do that, you find out much more about yourself. And I think this year was the year that I kind of realized it's essentially who I am. And I'd like to consider myself an artist. My canvas just changes. And through those travels, I, I can't believe it. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Show and Tell. I have one latest delight. Look, I love this girl. She is so great for me. Oh, you're a real glass guy. <laughs> She's just kind of the same person as me. You know, we f hard. <laughs> I don't know what to say, bro. I had considered myself a hopeless romantic, incapable of finding love or falling in love. Turns out. I was wrong. There's hope out there for you kids. I love this girl so much. She's changed my life and she's been on this journey with me and I hope she's going to be on it with me for a very long time to come. Love you, Nina. Damn, that was cheesy. I'm, if I'm blushing, cut this out. However, when Nina and I started dating, there's one thing she didn't know about me and that's uh, I'm a nerd. I actually set the Guinness World Record this year. Oh my God. This man has an actual... Guinness record, like an actual, like his name is in the Guinness Book of Records. Bro, did Bro, all this for the most idea. expensive Pokemon sale ever sold at a private sale ever. Five point two million dollars. You are officially ah uh, starting to take a take again. Why is take a taking? 
amazing. Congratulations. Let's go. Yeah, bro, it only does this when I'm filming a video, bro. Like, I don't know why it doesn't do. Like, when I'm watching a video, and that I was watch balanced the whole video. out by a three million dollar loss. I'll literally watch the whole video, no problem. Soon as I start recording a video, it starts deca deca ding. Dollars. You are officially amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> And that was balanced out by a $3 million loss when I accidentally bought a box of fake Pokemon cards. Oh my god. Actually, they were G.I. Joe. Bro, this man spent $3 million and got scammed for $3 million, bro. And he's fine. He's living life. He's like, oh shit, I got scammed for $3 million. Ish, damn. So sad. Okay, anyways, what are we doing today? What the fuck, bro? Like, some people will never make three million dollars in their life like some people will be like you know what i'm saying like yo that's crazy yo gi joe this man bought a five million dollar pokemon card but there's still good news i did buy something that wasn't fake this year and that is my 66 million year old triceratops named dudley what oh. is bull has a triceratops a real one a real one not a it's not a um a model of it no nigga it's the real one like this is a real skull of a triceratops and this nigga has it in his house a dinosaur in his house he has it what <laughs> These things are the physical manifestation of the hard work that I've been putting in over the years, and I'm really proud of them. My house, I've been working on it for a year now, and it's looking so good. That's mad, bro. That's mad. Like, I get it. Like, people's, like, goal is to be rich so that they can have nice clothes or whatever, or nice cars. But shit, bro, like... Like, be rich and live life, bro. This man right here is living life. Like, he's doing crazy shit. You would never would have thought about buying a dinosaur, going to South Africa and jumping off a mountain, nigga, or doing some crazy shit like that. Like, buying a po Pokemon card for five million. Like, bro, he's living life, bro. Like, this nigga is the true definition of YOLO. I think he was in wrestling, even. I finally have. I think he was in WWE, didn't he? A place where I can feel refreshed and at peace. And when I want to feel the opposite and put my body through hell, I go to my warehouse that we turn into a gym. Our iron paradise, right? We put our bodies through hell and prepare for war. This is why I fuck with him so hard. <laughs> That's a funny picture. This is why I fuck with him so hard. He's up, he's rich, but he still works hard, but he still goes harder. It's not stopping, dog. He's famous, whatever, cool. He has money and cars and houses, but he still goes hard. Dope. And this year, I got to witness Jake Paul, the person who I love most on this planet, beat Anderson Silva, an idol of ours, and actually met when we were kids. What a full circle moment. And then what a plot twist. I'm a wrestler now. What the f***? I did not see this coming. You guys just drafted Jay Paul's brother. How you feel? <laughs> First up, WrestleMania. Me and The Miz beat the Mysterios in front of 60,000 people. Bro, this man is going harder. Harder. How can you not be impressed with Morgan Paul's performance? And then, The Miz betrayed me. To get my revenge. Enter SummerSlam. Slip and rip those Logan Paul. Fire in the eyes of the Miz. Wow. First time I went off the top rope onto the table in front of a sold out stadium in Nashville. I did end up having a little bit of a heat stroke afterwards. <laughs> but after I recovered from that, I think WWE liked my performance enough and believed in me enough as an athlete to put me against the best that they got. Roman Reigns headlining the crown jewel. That's and so crazy. It's crazy. Just roll it. Logan Paul looking to shock the world. 
This proved fought against Roman Reigns, dog. The the Roman Reigns, nigga, the top of the top. You know what I'm saying? By the way, stream Roman Reign by Roman Cigar and Rain Rex. You know what I'm saying? The hardest song ever to drop in the history of songs. You know what I'm saying? Roman Reign, Roman Reign, Roman Reign, Roman. But anyways, cool and shot and just roll. Take a taking again. Ish. My bad. I don't know why it does this sometimes. Let's go! Athlete, what a close one! You felt down, Roman. What the hell are we witnessing, Michael? Oh my God! There was a moment that was caught a still image. This image Ooh. looks like a superhero Ooh, movie poster, and I can't believe it's real life. This shit is embarrassing. At my grown ass age, I still can't do a backflip. Actually, I'm doing a backflip right the fuck now. Ain't no way at my grown ass age, I can't do a backflip. I'm doing a backflip right now. At Bro. Bro. Who gonna stop me? Who gonna stop me? Doing a backflip right now, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. You ready? One, two, three. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let me fix my bed, bro. Shit. Yeah, nigga, yo, 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 yo. I just did a backflip. What you doing with your life? Why are you not doing backflips, nigga? Anyways. I love flying high in the WWE. This is what you wanted. And I jumped off the top rope and recorded myself frog splashing Roman through the table. It's something special. So many amazing moments, but it's really unfortunate that my fucking knee exploded. Yeah, I tore my MCL halfway through the match, but recovery is going great and I got my own action figure. The WWE curveball is something that I did not expect, but I have absolutely fallen in love with this sport. I want to take this opportunity to give a personal thanks to the WWE and the fans for letting me into your world and allowing me to have as much fun as I have. I'm really excited for how much I can grow in the WWE, and I think I've just scratched the surface in terms of what I'm capable of. That's going to be awesome. And this year, while we were doing all of the aforementioned, we managed to somehow release one impulsive episode a week, the number one podcast in the world. And that can be statistically verified. I had no clue I was Dawson until I got here. I got to America. One guy told me I looked like under the bed. This said when God said, let there be light, I was out of town. An open format where me and the boys get to talk to some of the coolest people on the planet and share the conversations with you. You've done it all. Why do you still come to the gym? For the same reason as why. Why? Why does he still come to the gym? having breakfast. Conversations with you. You've done it all. Why do you still come to the gym? For the same reason as why am I having breakfast today? I had breakfast yesterday at breakfast bar, 10 years ago. Though. Training is part of my life. That's a bar. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go to the gym every day, but I choose to go to the gym every day. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's what I do. I go to the gym. I'm that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm the gym nigga. Everything that I went to in the world, all of the Look at me and they go crazy. Are you serious? Yeah. They all come to the glass and they all do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, with all that said, the question that I'm asking myself is why was 2022 so good to me? And I think I have some answers. I found myself as a human. This sounds maybe silly, but I gained confidence in my ability to just be myself. <laughs> I also got smarter about making the right decisions and allocating my energy strategically. I learned how to say no. Your energy is your currency. And when you're constantly giving and giving and giving, how much do you have for yourself? Yeah. The past version of myself worked his ass off to build the momentum that I have now. And now I get to be authentic and pursue and do the things that I love. That's dope. Let's take 
people mountain. I approached this year like a baby with open arms, and everything that I had done in the past, all the trial and error, had established the perfect pillars of a very strong foundation for the empire that I wanted to build my whole life. So here are three things that I really valued this year. One, your circle and your team. Who are the people around you? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Everyone around me understands the vision that I have. They understand the mission that I'm on, and they're willing to help me get there. Two, trust. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust your vision, and you have to trust the process. Damn. Damn, this video is crazy. Things do not happen overnight. Success is f***ing hard. But if you barrel down and you have... Oh, man. Have an unwavering conviction in yourself and your mission. Barrel down, and you have an unwavering conviction in yourself and your mission. You're gonna be a really hard person to stop. Man, this man is living, living life, bro. You know when you were a kid and they asked you what you wanna be, and then you're like, I wanna be a I wanna think be a doctor. Probably... I wanna be a the most important. Honesty, Everything. honesty with yourself really and with the people for real. around you. Are you willing to learn from your past mistakes? Are you willing to receive feedback and set your ego aside for a second? And then can you capitalize on that? Can you be candid with the people around you? Can you have open and honest conversations without judgment? If the answer is yes, you're in a really good spot. I am so thankful for where I'm at in my life and for the people I have around me. could not have done anything that I do in my life without love. I, 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 I love the people I have on my team. I love my friends. I love you, the audience. You guys are so important to me in my life. And this is just a big thank you for making 2022 the best year of my life. Thank you guys. Nah, that's a W video, bro. This is a W video, dog. You see this video right here? I there's no video that motivated me like this video right here, bro. This nigga really did everything, bro. Like what? Like what else is he gonna do? Like, like now he can like, bro. A nigga sent, bro. This nigga sent a picture to space. A picture of himself. There's a picture of himself right now in space, right now as we speak, right now. That's crazy. Nigga bought a dinosaur, bro. He has a dino, a real one. Like not not a fake one, like a real dinosaur. That's mad. Yo. Damn. It's crazy man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Watching more videos. We're making more videos. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you show some love to your boy Rain.